So this is kind of like a little update on the whole movie situation. We're currently have like a week left. And this is how the room is looking. It's looking like a mess. Right now I'm finishing up taking stuff out of the closet. Currently have all these jackets. Those two bags are full of clothes. They look small but they're big. Look, 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 look. She got sunburned. We went on a hike today and she got sunburned. We still got this mirror and some more stuff to go. Yeah, so that's the current situation. I'll update you guys if anything happens and I'll update you guys when I get to my other crib to see that situation because. 24 hours later. I'm at my parents' house right now where I'm gonna be staying out for a couple of months. And I'm not in my room. Well, technically this is my room, but it's not my room. It's complicated. Let me show you what's going on. So we have all these bags full of clothes. My little thingy. Some boxes. Yeah, this is the current situation. It's going to get worse. But I have majority of the stuff back. So I have majority of my stuff here. I still have a couple more stuff that we need to move from my apartment. But that's currently the situation for right now. I'm gonna do one, a couple more stuff for school. Um, I finished my finals. I got an A in my marketing final and I got an A in my business final. But yes, that is the update for now. I'll probably update you guys once I go back to my apartment and clear some more stuff over there. Two days later. Hey vlog. So I'm gonna update you guys on the current situation today. And well a bitch crashed. Yeah. I crashed into a parked car. And it was not my fault. My brakes were not working and I was braking and I swerved and I hit a car, a car that was parked. So that happened. I'm currently going through some trauma right now. I'm very traumatized. I don't want to get in a car. Um, and the worst part was that it was a parked car. So nothing has happened yet. I left my information in the car, but it's been like six hours and no one has contacted me yet, which is driving me crazy because I'm gonna go crazy waiting for this person to contact me and tell me like what happened. Here, I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. Um, it's not too, too bad. My car got fucked up even more, but I'm still stressed because I don't know how the situation is gonna go down. It can either go down really bad because they'll just be pissed and be all crazy or they could just be like, oh, like it's not a big deal. Like we'll figure something out or they can just be or they'll never see it. I don't know, we'll see because people are not moving their cars because of Corona. But that is the current situation with that. Um, I'm traumatized, but that's fine. I'll get over it hopefully. Hopefully I'll sleep tonight. If I don't, well, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. So a little update on the moving situation. Majority of our room is completely emptied out. Yeah, the closet's like basically empty. All I have is like, my little drawer, some a blanket, a suitcase that I brought from home with clothes for me for the week. And then we obviously just have the bed and the mirror and everything else is like empty. So today is my last night here. Tomorrow I will be leaving and I will not be returning. So today is my last night. Um, we have a lot of friends coming over tonight. We're just gonna hang out, chill, you know, very last day at this apartment. All of my stuff are gone. I packed my car a couple of hours ago just to have everything ready for me to leave in the morning. And after that, it's literally goodbye. I'll be leaving this apartment. Yes, I'm in the closet. Everything's empty. I just have my luggage in here for the clothes I was wearing throughout the week. And I'm putting some stuff away. But yes, it's very sad, but... I don't know, I have like, I've been having this weird feeling this whole week. It's hard to explain, like it's not a bad feeling, but it's not a good feeling either. It's kind of like a feeling in between. And I've just had it this whole week. 
we were out earlier and it just had the same feeling like i don't know it's like my energy has just been kind of like all over the place my dreams have been really crazy um i've been taking naps and my dreams have been really really realistic and very lucid like it's crazy yeah my dreams have been feeling like they're real like my dreams and reality lately have been like no in between like they're both in the same fucking dimension and it's fucking driving me crazy so it's the next day and i woke up kind of early i woke up like around seven in the morning but then i went back to sleep and i just finished eating breakfast i finished i ate olive garden for breakfast they had the buy one take one home so i ate my leftovers that i took home and um there's still like a couple of things left but I'm done in this apartment, so I will be leaving in a couple of minutes, and I'll be saying my goodbye to this apartment, so... Today, I'm gonna go to the beach, I'm gonna go to the Laguna Beach with my friends, and I decided why not, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me on this beach day. Beach day during quarantine slash I don't fucking know because everything is opening up. Um, we'll see how this goes. So yes, we're going to Laguna. Um, it is illegal for us to go to the beach, but you know we don't give, we a, don't fuck. give a fuck. Fuck the government. Fuck the government. Fuck yeah, <laughs> you heard it. Stop <laughs> for right now. I'll update you guys when we get to the beach. We're currently on the freeway, swerving back and forth because. Hey. by Corona, avoiding the Rona, <laughs> but yes, that is all for this update. So we're at the shop and I am gonna get my aura and see what color it is, so we'll see how this goes. Out here snacking because I haven't ate and I don't want to faint while I'm out here so you know first things first so it's been a while we walked around the beach for a while and we ended up in this little crevices of the beach and we took some pictures well not I but other people took pictures and right now we're just chilling relaxing listening to the waves that's about it so it's the next day and I forgot to vlog, so that's where we're at. So today's my mom's birthday, so you know, we're just gonna celebrate her birthday with her and you know, just hang out, do us. And I wanted to show you guys my aura. So, you know how yesterday when I was at the chakra place, um, I got my picture taken to see like the color of my aura. And as it turns out, I'm gonna insert a picture of it right here. My aura is like multiple colors. It is like a yellow, orange, green, and then like a blue, like a tealish. She was explaining to me, and she's like, yeah, she's like, you have a lot of mixtures of colors. My friend also took a picture to see her aura, and her aura was completely all green. And then mine was over here fucking all kinds of fucking colors. So, so that's my regular aura. And then I also have the aura of my whole body, which is this one. And it shows all my chakras and like how they're not aligned or like balanced or whatever. So she basically talked about like what it meant and how basically she talked to me about all the fucking chakras and how what I could do to balance them out. And the one that kind of pointed, the one that got my attention was when she got to my third eye chakra. My third eye chakra was like 
had an intense amount of energy and she said that that energy was bleeding into my crown chakra because my crown chakra which is like the very very top one is supposed to be white but it's not white it's like some orange color because my third eye chakra which is right under it was like going crazy but then she basically told me she's like do you have vivid dreams and i'm like yes like i actually do have really intense vivid dreams a lot and she said okay she's like i'm sick i recommend you write your dreams down because like your dreams are giving you hints and meanings to stuff about your life so you should like write them down and like it'll help you understand like what's going on and like all this other shit which i was like i'm gonna consider that and the other one that kind of stood out to me too was she said my throat chakra which is the one right under it she said it was too dark that it was a good it was like a, it was balanced but it was just too dark because the color is supposed to be lighter and the bitch said that apparently i talk too much and i don't hold back that i need to hold back because i overdo it i don't believe that shit but you know what i was like maybe i'll fucking hold back apparently i say too much but basically what my aura means and says so it's basically my aura is basically orange that's like the main color the main color is orange and obviously i have multiple colors surrounding it which is like different meanings but my main aura which is orange means i'm an adventurous analytical scientific and self-confident so that's that and it goes more into detail like i have like a whole little like paperwork that goes into like all the colors of my aura because you know i said i have multiple colors so it kind of goes in and it's like divided with all the colors and what they mean and i was reading this shit and i was like it was hitting a little too close to home i was like next caller so yeah so that's the little update for today um i don't know if i'm gonna vlog any time later because i don't know how this is gonna go and also here's my new phone which i was supposed to do like a little unboxing moment but then i ended up getting caught up with everything i was doing and then having to activate my phone because it was a whole shebang so yeah it's the new phone or whatever so i'll update i'll see you guys probably in a couple of days when i dye my hair da 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 da